Autumn has arrived here in New England, which means the leaves are changing, crops are being harvested, and it's time to plant garlic. Mid-October is the perfect time because the soil is still warm and the garlic will set roots before it sort of goes to bed for the winter. Garlic requires a cold cycle to grow well. Garlic is a fairly easy crop to grow. If you haven't grown your own, give it a try. All you'll need is a space for planting, some compost or manure, a shovel, a trowel, and we are using a little bit of fertilizer. You'll also need to get some seed garlic, and we are using three heads of German extra hardy hardneck garlic. It is reliable to grow, very cold hardy, and cures well in storage. Our first step was to prepare our planting area you'll want to choose a weed-free area that receives full sun throughout the year. Then, just grab a shovel and turn over your soil. This will loosen it up and make it easier for the garlic to grow into nice large bulbs. Garlic plants are heavy feeders and really like nutrient-rich soil, so we added a bag of aged cow manure to our bed. Compost would work well too. Mix that in one more time continuing to loosen the soil and mix it all together. Now it's time to prep your garlic. Each head of garlic can be broken into cloves. Give it a good twist and it will start to break apart in your hands. You'll want to leave as much of the paper as you can as that is a bit of protection from the wet soil and any potential rot that might take place. From our three heads of garlic, we got 18 cloves to plant. When planting, you want to dig a trench about four inches deep. And in our space, we were able to fit three trenches, each about 12 inches apart. You may feel like you have more space, but you'll want to make sure there's enough room for each of the cloves to grow into a nice head of garlic. In the bottom of each trench, we added a little bit of plant tone, which is an organic fertilizer just to give the cloves a boost. We'll do this two more times throughout the growing season, once in early spring when the plants emerge, and once again in the late spring. Plant tone or garden tone are both great options. Now it's time to plant. We're aiming for two to four inches deep and six inches apart, with the pointy part of the clove facing up. From there, just cover over the cloves and you'll want to water them in the day you plant. Typically, our weather here in Massachusetts provides enough moisture to keep the plants happy through the fall. The plants will wake up in the spring when the soil warms again and we'll be looking to harvest our garlic around the 4th of July. Thanks for watching and we hope you'll come back to see how we harvest our garlic in our next season of Growing Local History here at the Old Colony History Museum. See you then.